everyone. This is Pat and Daisy with Lakata Live, and sorry we're a few minutes late. Um, it seems like we always have some sort of technical difficulty, and it's weird because it's never the exact same thing. Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, okay. So we, I'm trying to figure out which way to go here. I'm closer to me. So Daisy <clears throat> is our listing manager, and she has been with the Lakata Group for over a year now. Yeah. So it's interesting when people start a new job in general. You never really know what it's going to be like or if you're going to like it, um, if there are parts of it that you had no idea that you were going to learn. So I just thought I would ask you some questions. How fun. I know. <laughs> she asked me if I was going to be John, so putting her on the spot. So I guess my first question, Daisy, is, is it different from what you expected? Absolutely. Um, it's different in ways that, for instance, um, I knew that this position is, you know, it is kind of difficult. There's a lot of things that come along with it that you have to do and keep in line. But we do, set, we have a, a good team, a good sized team. So working with uh, multiple agents and having as many listings and transactions as we do, um, and as much as we do, not just for the team, but for our um, our clients, you know, I mean, there's just a lot that goes into it. And um, I'm actually kind of grateful because I get bored easily and I love everything that we do. And my every day is different, um, which is awesome as well. It makes me love my job even more. And um, you really never know what, who's going to walk in the door and talk to you. And everybody seems to love everyone here. So we get to do that a lot. Well, yeah. that is true. So you had been um, an agent, mm -hmm. and had you been on a team, I think you yes, said Yes, I, I had been on a team before um, a couple times. Um, wasn't really what I was expecting when I think of a team. Um, and when I came here to take the, the listing coordinator position, I really learned what it was like, and it's it's amazing. I love it. It's like a family. Well, and every t there are tons of real estate teams now. I think we started as a team before it became popular mm -hmm. and what I've learned is that there are a hundred different ways to work a team and to work as a team and um, they're all different and you never know until you're involved as mm -hmm. to whether or not it truly does entail. So what I'd like to ask you Daisy is like give me an idea of what you do for a specific listing. Say, like, for example, I know we have two listings that are coming active the end of this week. So how I will start is, um, obviously, is making sure everything is uploaded in our drive and our files, our specific files. I have a list that I go through. I um, do the listing in the MLS. I um, will schedule photos. Um, sometimes contractors need to come in to prepare for pictures and things. We help with that. Um, and then I meet my photographer. We do a lovely job together, coordinating and working together, take some amazing photos as always. Um, and then there's a lot that goes in uh, under, behind the scene, like our marketing. Um, we do a lot of marketing on um, social media and sending out emails um, and things of that nature, um, writing up the descriptions and the remarks, making sure they are in our blogs because everybody should know about our listings because they're always amazing. Um, and then, I mean, really from start to finish until it's closed, we market that property. Um, so it's it's con consistently, you know, being marketed. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. What's it like working with a bunch of agents who have completely different personalities? Everybody often? is so different here. Mm -hmm. um, it's fun. It's exciting. You know, you never know who you're going to get to interact with because um, not everybody's in here every day. Um, so again, it just makes my everyday different and I love it. Everybody is so wonderful um, to me personally and I, I absolutely love it. It keeps me on my toes. Well, I know we're all very different. Um, I can only speak for myself and unfortunately for Daisy, her office is directly across <laughs> from mine. And I think this morning since nine, so we're what, two hours and 10 minutes or so, I think I called Daisy 15 times. <laughs> Daisy, can you come help me? Daisy, what's this? 
And Definitely. what you see of Daisy right now and her personality is truly the way that she is all the time. She's always willing to help and with a smile on her face. Um, I'd probably be crossing my eyes or rolling them back as I said, sure, I'll be right over. But <laughs> Daisy doesn't do that. I, I know that for a fact. She's um, always willing to help. And it is great when we do have a... I can't say we have a large team, but we have, there are 11 of us now between mm -hmm. agents and administrative staff. And it can be difficult to work closely with 11 people. But I can honestly say we don't have drama. And for the most part, it really is a lot of fun. It is always fun. And I love everybody. It's kind of hard not to come in here and not smile and enjoy my day because everyone honestly is just absolutely wonderful and great well thank you you're welcome all right i think that's really it for lakata live i'll just give you a brief rundown excuse me one second <clears throat> sorry about that a brief one down rundown of what's going on in real estate so i can speak specifically of lake of the woods today there are 38 active properties and that's really the most we've had in a very long time um, it's creeping up it's still a seller's market for sure because I do recall times where there were a hundred listings available for sale in Lake of the Woods so still a substantial um, re reduction in inventory which makes it appealing um, to sellers because there aren't that many choices for buyers yes the interest rates have had an impact understand that the Fed said that they're not going to continue to raise rates. Um, our experts that we follow do state that they believe interest rates will begin coming down, but it's not going to be most likely until the first quarter of next year. So the, um, uh, I can't think of what the word is, that the mortgage companies use is buy the house and date the rate. And really what that means is when there, when you find the house that you absolutely love, that is the time to purchase it because you will have an opportunity to refinance. When that happens, there'll be a plenty more homes on the market and you may not find exactly what you want at the price that you can get it for today. So just something to consider. Anyway. Thank you so much. And what else? Oh, you want to talk about the unicorn world? Oh, yeah. So there is this awesome event that's happening in Richmond this weekend. It's um, Saturday and Sunday. <clears throat> Saturday, it is from 9, I believe, till 5.30 and Sunday, 10 um, to 5.30. Um, it is the unicorn world. Really, really exciting. Um, it's it's $39 a person to get in. Two, under two, it's free. Um, you walk in, you are greeted by this amazing array of balloons that looks like um, a rainbow. You walk in we're, um, to this, it's like just a unicorn world, a place to live with unicorns. Um, they're life-size unicorns, they're mechanical, so they do move so the children can actually interact with them um, and touch them and feel like that they're really being a part of um, a unicorn's world. Um, there's enchanting forests, there's games, um, arts and crafts, reading, um, face painting, um, a, just a gem that they can play around and everything is just related to unicorns and it's something I think would be a wonderful thing to introduce, you know, small children to and just kind of, you know, use their imagination a little bit, let them feel like they're part of the unicorn world yeah yeah great and this <clears throat> event is one that is only in Richmond for this coming weekend as Daisy mentioned Saturday and Sunday and then it, it moves on to other cities around the country I did look and it will be back in Baltimore in January but for now if you want to go to Richmond this is the perfect weekend to go um, and I think unicorn world sounds wonderful yeah, yeah. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week.